Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna give you a brief overview on the simulated Boeing 737 Windows heat system and how to test and operate the window heat control panel. Without further ado, let's get started. The Windows heat control panel is located on the overhead panel, which is a part of the anti-ice control panel. It's used to heat electrically the flight deck windows during the flight. It consists of four windows heat switches for normal operation, one switch for testing, and eight window heat status indicator lights. The switches with side labels operate the two side windows, the left one for the captain's side and the right one for the first officer's side. The switches with the forward labels operate the forward window. The left one for the captain windshield, the right one for the first officer windshield. The use of these four on and off switches is straight forward. When turned on, they activate the window heat and we turn them off to deactivate the window heat. When the switches are turned on, the green on lights illuminate, indicating that the window heat is on. When the switches are turned off, the green on lights extinguish, indicating that the window's heat is off. The window heat system has an overheat controller, so which protects the windows from an overheat. When this occurs, it turns off the heat from its associated window accompanied with uh, an ember overheat indicator light and the extinguishing of the on green light. The test switch has two positions, overheat and power test. We use this switch to make sure that the overheat and power functions are in good conditions. Let's see now how the window heat panel is used. It's recommended during the pre-flight flow to turn the window heat on to ensure at least 10 minutes operation before takeoff. Now, if we need first to perform window heat test, we can start this with overheat test. And before we start this, the four window heat must be on. The test switch is spring loaded to center. To initiate the test, we need to hold the switch at the desired position, for instance, to the overheat position. This will simulate an overheat condition. To do so, I will click and hold my right mouse button to move momentarily the switch to overheat position. Overheat amber lights illuminate. A successful test is complete when all lights extinguish. Now, to reset the window heat system, we need to cycle the switches off, then on. Now, for the power test, we normally use this uh, as a confidence test uh, when the window heat switch is on, but the green on indication is not showing. So, using this power test, we'll force a full electrical power to the window by bypassing the temperature controllers. This test, uh, as I said, uh, it gives us a confidence that the window electrical power is in good condition when we suspect a malfunction. During the engine shutdown procedure, we can leave the window heat on if another flight departure is expected within 30 minutes. Otherwise, we turn them off. And this completes uh, the today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.